Hey there and good day guys. Welcome back to my channel. So for today, I am going to show you on how to add an add to cart button here in the Shopify. So the very first thing you need to do is to go to the website which is shopify.com and then you will see here where you can log in and then make sure guys that you already have an account and if you don't you can create one and then after this one just click this one guys and then after logging in you will be directed to the shopify's home page where you will see the dashboard of the shopify and on this side guys you will see the Shopify features like the home, the products, customers, and content. And then of course to that guys, the main event here is the sales channel. Here guys, which is below is the online store. This. Then the first thing you need to do is to click on online store. Then after that one, you will see the option to view your store because before anything else we need to visit our products so here it is guys then go to the catalog just click on it and if you scroll down a bit you won't see the add to cart button here which will make it hard for customers to shop then the add to cart button will only appear if you click directly on the product just like this one okay but in this section the add to cart button isn't visible now that we've seen that let's go back to the section guys the don theme so which is the theme we're using for this tutorial is the don theme and you will notice guys that i am using the latest version of this one and then right after that go to the word customize and just stop it just like this just wait a little and then here guys you can see the different ways to edit your theme like the announcement bar um, you can add insect section here but for now let's go to the catalog and you will see here guys there is still no add to cart, add to cart button even if you scroll down to the bottom so okay so what we will do next is we will go to the home page beside this one is the house icon okay let's find the home page so it's placed at the top guys beside the default then just click on this one and you will find a search bar where you can search for collection but you can also find it in the list and you will see default collection and click on it and you will now be taken to your collections in my case i only have one collection but you can have as many as you want and once done double click it here and the product grid will appear okay here you can also see the number of the products per page edit the scheme and you can also decide this the ratio of the product guys and what works best for me is the adapt to image and scroll down a bit you will now see the quick add option which has three choices none means no add to cart button and then as you can see here guys there is the bulk option it is for items purchased in higher quantities and just like that guys the basic one the standard the most common option guys let's try to scroll down and then if we click on standard guys the add to cart button will appear in my collection so as you can see here guys that's it that's what we're looking for and then after that one we can now save that just tap the word save right here and then we can now see it changes saved okay wait until it says changes saved then we can now reload that site after this one let's go to our site again okay let's go to our site again and then reload this one okay just enter this one 
and then wait for a little guys just be patient okay and then right here guys after that one guys scroll down a bit and you will see it it works perfectly guys you can now see here the autocrat button and let's try to test it guys you can click it here and find it on your cart the one that you add to cart okay let's try another one for example to that is this one and see your cart and after this one i'll also add this one let's go to my cart let's view it and you will see it guys and it's ready for check out and then let's try the bulk option guys um it's um it's have the same process just like before you just need to change it to bulk option where is it and then after that one guys click that one which will try it and then same process guys you just need to save it okay here guys you will see here the minus and plus sign click the save one and then load again the page and then after that one scroll down a little and then you will see here you cannot decide how many do you want the quantities here from add cart button to the quantities and let's try to remove this one guys to change our order try the bulk option your cart is empty it says here and then let's try this one guys i would like to buy five of these just tap the plus sign five times and that's it guys you will see it on your cart see here guys so after that one guys let's try again another one for example that is this one that's it you can also see it in your card and it works perfectly and this setup guys your customers will have a much smoother experience when shopping in your store they won't have to go through the trouble of clicking every individual products just to find the add to cart button which saves them a lot of time and effort so here guys just make sure to remember all the steps that i mentioned especially the part about customizing here guys remember this one guys and that's it guys and thanks for watching